Chief Executive Lam will be remembered for um, managing Hong Kong in a, in a very difficult time as the city was transitioning at Beijing's insistence from being in, in a way um, no longer Asia's world city and more uh, China's international city. And her main legacy will be the, the very faithful measures that she took under the instructions of Beijing to implement a national security law and, and change the governance system of Hong Kong to put a higher priority on loyalty to China uh, and in the governance of the city. So I think that will be her, her most outstanding uh, legacy going forward. Looking forward to today's uh, policy address, I would expect her to emphasize those points, but also to attempt to turn the page and emphasize other pressing issues that face the, the city. Um, as, as a different type of city, how will Hong Kong remain competitive? Um, will it be able to address the, the, the cost pressures, the housing problem, and continue to be a place that attracts international business even as the system there has changed. So I think there's a lot that she needs to address today. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what she says. Can we get your prediction on the likelihood that we could see Chief Executive Carrie Lam uh, serving a second term? And uh, with, with that, uh, we have upcoming elections of both of the Legislative Council as well as the Chief Executive. Uh, will Hong Kong people continue to have a diminishing role in the political landscape in Hong Kong? Well, certainly the legislative character of the Legislative Council um, has changed rather fundamentally from a uh, independent voice in designing the governance of the city to uh, an affirm affirmative body to support the executive uh, of, of, of Hong Kong. Um, that's been very clearly the intention uh, of Beijing, Beijing in, in redesigning how the city works. They want it to be an executive-led, um, Beijing-guided city, uh, and, and they've accomplished that. So the elections for Legislative Council will really be more about who within the camp of people who are uh, demonstrably loyal to China, based upon Beijing standards, will be involved in making decisions and participating in governance. To your first question, I do think there's a, a quite a real possibility that um, that the chief executive will stay for a second term. Um, and in some ways, you might consider this her first campaign speech. Um, the, I think there's just a, a real sense that uh, China likes continuity, and, and she has done uh, what was uh, asked of her uh, by the leaders up north. 